testing and tracking is really really important for you to improve your conversion rates now testing and tracking is basically the process of testing a change to your website and then tracking the results and what it does is from this you can determine whether a particular test or change improves or doesn't improve your conversion rate and what this will mean is it'll help you slowly but surely improve your conversion rate until you have a very nice high conversion rate of your um, of your product or affiliate product or whatever it is you're promoting so really you need to test and track now the marketers who are really successful with their websites and earn lots from their websites are pretty much fanatical about testing and tracking you know they they do it literally round the clock you know very very religiously so it's very very important that you do this because you know what will happen if you can maximize your conversion rates what you need to do is test the different components and test the and track the performance of these changes you know if a change makes the conversion rate better then you can keep that change and then try changing something else or you may want to uh, try changing that again to see if you can make it even better so it's up to you how to you do it but it's a gradual process and within uh, you know a relatively short period of time couple of months maybe a little less you will have a you know a very well performing website that's converting very very well now there's three ways of doing this method a is some software now these are typically used for uh, uh, sales letter conversions like multivariate and split testing but you could probably use some of this software to test other conversion rates as well possibly CPA or affiliates I, I'm not entirely sure you'd have to look at it but I'm sure there's software out there that does that now you could do it the real old-fashioned way and you can use the pen and paper where you just write down each change and track the results or just a simple spreadsheet which we'll look at one in a minute now the spreadsheet is possibly the easiest way it's not going to cost you any money it's a quick and simple way to get started but you must keep track of the results and continuously work to improve them so you've got to you know sit down and think right well I've had 500 visitors my conversion rates improved by uh, 0.25 of a percent right I'll keep that and I'm going to try this next change and have another 500 visitors and see what happens to my conversion rate and by doing that you're going to squeeze every single percentage point of conversion rate out of your website which effectively means to you more money and that's what we want you know, the higher the conversion rate the more money you will make and I've said this so many times throughout this program and it really really is true is you can literally turn a, a website that's making you know a hundred dollars a month into you know a full-time income almost you know just by improving the conversion rate it's it's crazy what you can do with this you know if it's converting at half a percent at a hundred dollars you double it to one percent double it again to two percent double it again to four uh, percent you're up to you know eight hundred dollars a month from that site the one site that's making a hundred dollars is now making eight hundred and just think if you double the traffic you're suddenly up to sixteen hundred dollars from a single site and you know you've all you've done is double the traffic and improve the conversion rate a little you know it's astronomical what you could do with it so it's really really worth your while spending time making this happen it really has to become a part of your internet marketing routine ultimately you will succeed and make a lot more money if you test and track and as I said think of any big name marketers any successful marketers online I'm pretty much going to guarantee to you that they test and track and if they don't they're foolish and they're losing a lot of money and if they did they could probably take their income from sort of six five to six figures or six to seven you know it's that serious a, a change so make it a part of your routine now it may be that you don't have to go into you know absolute you know uh, OCD obsessive compulsive disorder levels of, of testing and tracking you know get up to a stage where it's good enough you may say well three percent on my sales letter that'll do that's good enough that's fair enough that's your choice you know you might be able to squeeze more out of it you might not it depends but it's up to you to make a judgment call or when to stop spending time improving the conversion rate and just say that's good enough 
and you know it's entirely up to you when you do that if you've got software then obviously the software will do this all automatically for you uh, if you haven't then obviously it's a bit of work for you so you can see here a simple spreadsheet um, it's simply just four columns the changes I made the number of visitors the conversion rate and notes very simple so you can see in the first row is my baseline the baseline is the initial setup so I've created a website uh, it's my initial sales letter for example I've had 500 visitors to it my conversion rate is 2% so that means I've made two in every, two sales in every hundred visitors so I've made 10 sales okay so what we do is we make a change so we change the headline so I've changed the headline to and you can see I, I would actually note down what I changed the headline to so I keep track of the changes that I've made so that I'm not repeating myself I've then let 100 and 506 visitors you know I was I was busy didn't get to uh, to it in time for 500 but my conversion rate has dropped it's gone down to 1.8 percent that's not so good so obviously it's a bad choice of headline there's something about it they don't like so I'm gonna change the headline again so I've changed it to something else I've driven the 503 visitors to it my conversion rates increased it's 2.3 percent now so I'm gonna keep that headline and what I do is I'll then test something else test the sub headline test the PS and so on and so forth and you just keep track of this and you can see you know you may eventually see well if I, I change that headline and the conversion rate up I changed the PS's and the conversion rate went up so let's put those together and you know you may realize that well actually hang on if I change the headline again and put it with this PS that might increase it even more so you know, you can test different combinations of permutations and all sorts of things so there's a lot you can do here with this but this is a simple form of doing it you can do it on paper you can do it on a spreadsheet it doesn't really matter what you do it on but as long as you do it and you know if you know that you get around about 500 visitors a week then you make a change you come back a week later and have a look it's around about 500 doesn't have to be exact doesn't matter if it's a little bit above or a little bit below better a slightly above than below but you want the same number of visitors every time and just by doing this you're gonna track your conversion rate and you'll soon see the conversion rate improving significantly you really really will and you know if you what, what you will find eventually is you're gonna get a feel for what's working and what's not working so you know when you come to set up your next site you'll know well actually this sort of PS worked very well on this other site so let's use that PS let's use this style of headline and this style of this that and the other and you can use a lot of what you've learned from the previous website to make the next one um, even better and start at a higher conversion rate you know if you if you've learned that a certain type of PS a certain call to action um, a certain spacing around the headline all helps improve the conversion rate you put those onto the new website and instantly you've increased your conversion rate so you can see it, it, it builds up very very quickly and what you learn from one website you can very easily apply to um, many of your other ones as well same with if you suddenly discover something with AdSense that really improves the click-through rate you may go great let's go and put that on my other sites as well and you know there you are so you've got to start testing and tracking the more you do this the better it's going to be for you you're going to really really uh, you know really improve your conversion rate through this you know as I said if I take my conversion rate from uh, 0.5 to 2 percent I've quadrupled my income for that website which frankly is amazing well worth doing so that's what you need to do remember make this a part of your uh, website creation routine very very important that you do this and if you do this and you test, you track, you work on improving your conversion rate, you're going to see your income increasing and probably quite significantly.